Myofascial trigger points are a muscle problem, a soft tissue problem, and they're really common in the population. Actually, 93% of migraine patients ninety three percent of migraine patients have trigger points in their neck while a hundred percent of whiplash patients have trigger points somewhere in their neck or actually it's usually in their upper trapezius I should note that myofascial trigger points can be abbreviated as MT lowercase rp s. Sometimes it's also T just TRP or even TP, but this is the most common way to abbreviate it. Anyways, what is a myofascial trigger point? And it's been defined as uh, a highly irritable, tender localized spot in a nodule in a palpable band of muscle. And that's a really long and hard to grasp definition, so I have my own definition, which is relatively accurate. It's oversimplified, though. It's uh, a myofascial trigger point is a site of potential contraction knot. And we all know what happens when we contract our muscle. It gets shorter. A knot is basically something, once you tie it, it can't be undone. And that's analogous to the trigger points because they don't release on their own. They don't let go. Getting into the terminology, uh, myo stands for muscle, while fascia stands for the connective tissue in between muscle. The trigger points are called trigger points because they refer pain. That's something that's always implied. They refer it from that nodule out to a different place in the body. So let's get an example of that. Let's do the sternal head of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And that's this one right here. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. I just want to show you what referred pain means as far as trigger points goes. And this muscle can have uh, four trigger points going from the bottom to the top. And this isn't totally accurate. I'm just putting them there about equally spaced. But this has been mapped out. People know exactly where the trigger points are. And it does vary a little bit from person to person but these trigger points generally occur in all the muscles in about the same place for people to people. But it will have this characteristic referred pain pattern. If you have some sort of injection in here or if you apply pressure or you have a trigger point actually in this X which indicates the location of the trigger point you will have referred pain probably in these locations and that's going for this particular muscle, somewhere above the eye, that's a little big, somewhere above the eye, down to the cheek, somewhere on the back of the head, right about there, on the top of the head, and these are just general locations, but if you look in a textbook or an article, they'll have specific locations. I'm trying to approximate it as best as I can. and down in the sternum. So that's the referred pain pattern for this particular set of trigger points. Referred pain for the sternal. What's interesting is that you might not necessarily have an injury above your eye or on your head or your chin, but if you have this trigger point, you can actually feel pain coming from this area, from these areas. And it's, it's strange, 
and it's not exactly known why it's happening or exactly how it's happening but there are different theories out there and one interesting theory is that it's a protective mechanism and because uh, trigger points can be caused by stuff like trauma if you have trigger points in your muscles due to trauma it's going to cause pain restrict your motion let's go over the causes and the symptoms of the trigger points so there's a ton of different causes but as I said trauma is number one or at least the easy easiest to explain. It just makes sense. If you injure your muscle, you can set up trigger points. It's very simple. Another cause is metabolic deficiency or a disorder. If you're not getting the proper nutrition, vitamins, minerals to your muscles, they can misbehave. Stress, sleep loss, that can cause uh, trigger points or at least perpetuate them immobility like wearing a cast might set up trigger points in your arm or awkward positions sitting hunched over at a desk or in a, with a phone in between your ear and your shoulder that can lead to trigger points or activate ones that are latent symptoms there's motor symptoms, stuff in your muscles and sensory, how you um, feel pain. There's going to be pain referral. That's right there. I don't need to rewrite it. Uh, sensitization. Things that didn't normally hurt before are now going to hurt for no reason, or you can't seem to figure out why things hurt that shouldn't and stuff that already hurt before might hurt worse like if you bang your elbow it's going to maybe send shooting pain up your neck if you have trigger points in your neck the muscle is going to be affected by being weaker having decreased range of motion it's going to be a little bit stiffer and you can't move it with the proper range. It's going to be limited. So let's look at under the microscope. Let's zoom in from this point right here. Let's go in about 400x magnification. And this is a, a longitudinal um, cut of the muscle. And these are the muscle fibers. Oops. And this is the contraction knot. This is the actual knot in the muscle. And these lines I'm drawing represent the sarcomere divisions. This area in between the line is the sarcomere, the basic unit of the muscle itself. So, on either side of the contraction knot, the sarcomeres are going to be very stretched out, which can actually lead to them tearing and inside the contraction knot the sarcomeres are very close together and they won't release unless there's some sort of intervention some sort of therapy whereas in comparison to that the normal muscle fibers have evenly spaced sarcomeres also the space in between the muscle fibers indicated by the darker line is very small so decreased space between the environment of a trigger point. 
is going to be hypoxic. Decreased pH. Inflammatory molecules. It's not behaving normally as it should. This muscle is contracted, it won't release, it won't let go, and it's causing pain, all referred into predicted patterns far away or near the original source.